Hello, F-150 drivers of my driving intelligence community. Uh, I was reviewing the analytics of one of my videos from the past. It's the video that compares the Volant uh, cold air intake to the K&N filter injection performance kit. And I indicated in that video that uh, the results are surprising. Um, I gave you the facts and I gave you the options for when you would use it. Uh, interestingly enough, half the, about half the people, or slightly less than half, indicated that they did not like the video. But the only people that commented on the video are those that actually liked the video. So um, it would be very helpful for people who um, may have more knowledge about the topic um, to please provide comments below. Um, from what I've seen going through the internet and looking at what uh, people say about the, uh, the filter injection performance kit or the cold air kits that have the uh, somewhat open box in the engine bay, it's, it's all um, hearsay. I haven't seen any testing. Um, I did testing on this to show temperature rise and uh, and I also indicated temperature recovery. Um, so those are facts. You can't dispute data. Um, if you have some data that shows otherwise, please, uh, please provide that commentary below. I will note that the temperature will get extremely high with the, uh, the filter injection performance kit but it does recover to ambient much more quickly um, than the, uh, the Volant and I would also assume the stock air box. Um, and I can only guess why that's happening, but it's probably because of heat sink that uh, gets into the plastic that maintains heat in there. Again, uh, please leave comments below. Comments are the most important part. It's not just me trying to be helpful. It's uh, the people out there watching the videos that have other opinions. It's very important that you provide your comments below. Thanks and uh, happy driving. This is the graph that I prepared for my original video that shows the Volant and the K&N. Volant being a closed airbox system versus a K&N which is open airbox in the engine bay. The temperature rise at idle with the same ambient conditions is almost identical. Um, you, can, you cannot pull the two graphs apart. So for many of you that are saying that an open air, air box or air cleaner in the engine bay is just going to pull in hot air, this is not true. The facts and the testing don't support that. Um, the temperature will continue to go higher, I think a little higher with the K&N over a period of time. Um, but the, the key that I found was that the K&N did recover to ambient uh, temperature conditions uh, completely. And uh, the, the Volant would not uh, return to ambient conditions as quickly as the K&N. Um, it took several uh, minutes and minutes longer for that to occur. Uh, again, data speaks for itself. I'm looking forward to comments from those of you in the community that uh, have real, wor real world results from using both closed and open air filter systems. Um, please post that below or post links to videos that you've made. Looking forward to uh, a lively uh, discussion and debate. Thanks very much. Abe and I would like you to subscribe, hit that thumbs up, and provide comments below. See you next time on Driving Intelligence.